On the 15th of April 1989, football fans headed to Hillsborough Stadium in Sheffield to watch Liverpool play Nottingham Forest in the semi-final of the FA Cup. There was always a risk of overcrowding at Hillsborough. To avoid it, the previous year police had put in place a filtering system for fans arriving at the stadium. But not today. Today it was decided to let the fans find their own level. With half an hour to go before kickoff, a dangerous bottleneck had developed outside the ground. The fans were now seriously at risk. An officer outside the ground radioed through to Chief Superintendent Duckenfield and requested that an exit gate be opened to relieve the pressure on the turnstiles. Duckenfield gave the order, open the gate. But the tunnel was not closed off by police. Fans were not filtered into the emptier side pens and as a further 2,000 fans entered the stadium, many headed straight into the already packed central pens. As kickoff approached, the worst disaster in the history of British sport was unfolding on the terraces. This is BBC One, and now we go over to Morris Stewart in the newsroom. 74 people have been killed in a crush of spectators at this afternoon's FA Cup semi-final between Liverpool and Nottingham Forest at the Hillsborough ground in Sheffield. One report says as many as 84 could be dead. Fans tried to escape up into the stands from the crush at the Liverpool end and over the spiked crowd barriers at the front. An ambulance appeared as the scale of the disaster became clear. The first casualties were stretched away, fans and soccer officials helping the rescue workers. Desperate attempts were made to revive victims where they lay as firemen and police struggled to reach those trapped behind the security barriers. It's the worst disaster in British football history. More than 200 other people were injured. With permission, I'd like to make a statement on the report of the Hillsborough Independent Panel. Today, the Bishop of Liverpool, the Right Reverend James Jones, is publishing the report of the Hillsborough Independent Panel. The disaster at the Hillsborough Football Stadium on the 15th of April 1989 was one of the greatest peacetime tragedies of the last century. 96 people died as a result of a crush in the Leppings Lane Terrace at the FA Cup semi-final between Liverpool and Nottingham Forest. There was a public inquiry at the time by Lord Justice Taylor, which found, and I quote, that the main cause of the disaster was a failure of police control. But the inquiry 
did not have access to all the documents that have since become available. It did not properly examine the response of the emergency services. It was followed by a deeply controversial inquest and by a media version of events that sought to blame the fans. As a result, the families have not heard the truth and they have not found justice. said in it it was a tragedy but it was obviously the fans fault because they, the event was a tragedy 96 to pe- 96 people died and it was the people's fault nah 96 people died but i blame the popo what did you the blame police? the popo what did they do because they, they, were, there, they, were, there, they were there for crowd control <clears throat> well clearly they didn't do enough because there's 96 people there if they knew the limits right why would you walk in i don't understand bro rephrase the question <laughs> rephrase the oh. You're gonna buy a comic book, right? Yeah. And there's a hundred there, and the hundred have been sold out, but there's twenty other people going and knocking each other out for yeah, it. Why would they do it? They didn't. They didn't know. No. So they they wouldn't know that all the seats have been taken up. But I I blame the police anyway, and uh, they should have seen the amount of people that was going in and they didn't stop it. Yeah, but if if there was a lot of people, there might not have been enough. So what are your well, opinions on the Hillsborough tragedy? I mean, was it the police's fault, or do you think it was like the fans' fault? Uh, it was the fans' fault to an extent, because even if the police did let them in, if the fans had abided by the rules and regulations, they would have known uh, about the um, uh, population limit before trying to squeeze their way through. So when they did, it was really... Uh, yeah, but hang on. Don't you think it's um, the police's fault? Because they should have been like in charge of the whole thing, because it's their job to kind of like um, to know what's happening, like whether there's too much people there or there is a... So they meant to like organize it and they meant to like know all the information? Yeah, that's why I said to an extent, 
it was the public's fault because they did try what to squeeze the their way through. What have got to do with it? Because they've got to they Obviously, the either the they persuaded. Authority, the Look, yeah. No, listen, either listen, they persuaded. Listen, listen, listen. No, you listen to no. me, bro. Okay, no, go you on. listen right, to go me. On. Okay, go on, bro. No, because Dick obviously it. the police, they have like, the, like the people, they're going to think the police have authority, so they're going to know what they're doing. Authorities, yeah. Authority, yeah, that's the thing. So they're going to know what they're doing. So it's not the people's fault. That's why I said it's the people's fault well, to the extent. What they were doing. Listen, yeah, all right, check this out. It's the people's fault to an extent, happened, yeah, because even if the even if the police officers enforce the law, yeah, that you're not allowed to go through because there's a population limit. These guys went through anyway. Okay, fair enough. The police should have been harsher. Police the police should should, police should have enforced on them even more. But how many people were there? How many people were there? How many police officers were there? They could have been calling backup while those people squeezed their way through. Yeah, well, they should have had more police officers because they well, they didn't. No, they should have expected something well, like this. Well, they didn't. They should have expected. Exactly Look, they yeah, didn't. they didn't. They didn't. <laughs> Look, yeah, they didn't. They didn't. So that's, that's why it's the public's problem. fault. The public should have waited out. No, it's their fault. This they, guy, man. No, they didn't organize the whole thing properly, so it's obviously their fault. Did Are the police doing? organize it? Okay, then the people <laughs> who organized it then. Well, they're not police officers, are they? So what are your opinions on the Hillsborough tragedy? I mean, do you think it was the Liverpool fans' fault or do you think uh, the police's fault? What do you think of it? I think it was the police's fault, to be honest. Uh, I mean, I think they should have taken better precautions to make sure that this kind of tragedy wouldn't happen. And uh, I don't think they should have let too many fans in in the first place because it was a, a bad idea to let that many people into a, a closed uh, space. And knowing that uh, the structure was probably not as... Uh, like not as good as it is today because it was probably a bit old that they should have thought that too many people would have mean it could have broken broken easily okay, can you give, please? I'm sure it was the fans fault it was the fans fault because they, would, they were overloading the stadium if it wasn't for them yeah, 96 people wouldn't have died you get me? true but then it's not, it's not really their fault they weren't there they, it's not their job to come and think oh okay should I uh, is there going to be too many of us here it's, that should be the club and the uh, the police didn't they pay for tickets? They paid for tickets, but then that's really the police for they should have said to him, listen, there's too many people here, but direct you somewhere else. Yeah, but there's no space in the stadium. Well they could have made space somewhere else. Like instead of instead of putting them all in one place, they could have evenly spaced them out. So anyways, yeah. So how do you think football has changed over the year due to the Hillsborough tragedy? I mean there has been a lot of changes. I reckon the football has got safer. No, but here and there there's occasional things like what happened in Ukraine where um, racist fans attacked Asians. But other than that, worldwide, it's gone safer in a way. I think, yeah, they got rid of those yeah. gates as well. And uh, I think they... I think there's more police, more there's more staff. Yeah, there's more, uh, more security as well. And I think there's more people actually thinking about these things. Yeah. And uh, there's bans, bans have come into play and sanctions for the clubs that partake in this sort of behaviour. All right, thank you, Newman. So and what are your opinions on the Hillsborough tragedy? And the what do you think? Um, you can blame the police, but also you have to blame the Liverpool fans because, like, they they knew that they only had that much seat allocation, but all of them actually went in. Those they overcrowded themselves. So really, you can at the same time, it's the police's fault for laying that much people in, but it's also Liverpool fans' fault. Yeah, I get you. That's that's. And uh, I mean, how do you think football has changed over the year due to that tragedy? Well, um, it hasn't changed a lot in world football because it's still the rioting and overcrowding. But in England, it's like there's more control over it now. It's like you can you see like stadiums with just certain capacities, and then they give they give they make sure that the opposite opposition team they make sure they only have that much people to the crowds. They don't. They and the police. You can see that the police. They make sure, and you know, when you go to a football match, they make sure that not that much, only people, the tickets go in. So that's the thing, like in Hillsborough, they never allowed that. They never even checked the tickets, but this, they allowed all the people with tickets to go into the stadium. All right, thank you, Kadia. So what are your opinions on the Hillsborough tragedy? I mean, do you think it was the Liverpool fans' fault or was it the police's? In my personal opinion, I believe now that it was the police's fault. But at that time, then I believe that it was the Liverpool fans' fault because... Of, they did not give the uh, police a chance to g get a sustainable space or amount of time for them to achieve what they needed to do. So, how do you think football has changed over the years due to the Hillsborough tragedy taking place? I think that it has changed drastically because now all of the teams have united and every anniversary, uh, every team... So, what are your opinions on the Hillsborough tragedy? I mean, do you think it was the police's fault or the okay. Liverpool fans? Don't even go there, right? I blame the police, right? Why did they let the Manchester City, why did they let all the crowd go through the gates in the first place, right? They know there's massive gates right at the end and like it's gonna get a bit chaotic right in there. 
and they still let all the fans go through. Yeah. And next thing you know, like everyone's going, everyone's going all over the place, and like everyone's trying to push in and stuff. And God, ninety-six people died in that tragic accident. So, how do you think football has changed over the years due to the Hillsborough well, tragedy? Well, well, the obvious thing is the gates are gone now, and like there's like allocated seats right there. Like you know, you're given a specific number, specific seat. You gotta sit down. And like, you know, there's more security right there and then and there. Like, I think like, they've taken this cons uh, this incident into an account and like, they've made football a lot safer place to So be. what are your opinions on the Hillsborough tragedy? I mean, do you think it was the Liverpool fans' fault or like, do you think the police's fault? I think it was the police's fault. I think they um, herded the Liverpool fans into a place that it didn't fit, they wouldn't fit and it caused a tragedy. Yeah, so how do you think football has changed due to the tragedy over the years? Well, as a result of the Hillsborough tragedy, now more uh, all seat, all stayed here are seated. Therefore, they seem to be a lot safer and the, the, the policing at these events is a lot better. All right, then. Thank you, sir. So what is your opinion on the Hillsborough tragedy? I mean, do you think it was the police's fault or the Liverpool fans' fault? It certainly wasn't the Liverpool fans' fault. It, the police had a lot to answer for. Um, I think somebody in, in charge panicked and I think what's worse is they then tried to cover up and blame the Liverpool, Liverpool fans. I remember when I was young I used to go to Liverpool to watch them quite a lot um, and stand on the cop and the guys that I stood with were not a bunch of hooligans given that I was only very young, only about 10 or 12. Um, but they were, they were football supporters, they weren't drunkards. Um, and I actually remember when I was a bit older being with a load of Liverpool fans when they'd just got beaten by Arsenal um, in the FA Cup final at Wembley and I travelled back to the Midlands with the Liverpool fans and what a great bunch of people. You so know, really so how do you think uh, football has changed over the years due to the Hillsborough tragedy? Well, one of the first things they did was they brought in all seats of stadium because they didn't want people standing. Um, and in many respects, it's quite interesting that they actually, they actually did it. But what's also interesting now is that some football clubs, including Aston Villa, are investigating bringing back standing areas because they think that the attitude of fans has changed. The other thing you have to bear in mind is that when Hillsborough happened, all the fans were fenced in. There was fences all the way around the ground because there'd been crowd trouble in the past where people were invading pitches and attacking fans were attacking each other. Um, again, the change was they started to take fencing down because they could see how dangerous it was. And I think, that although it was a massive disaster and it was a tremendous shame because an awful lot of young people died who shouldn't have died, you, it actually affected the game for the better. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. The hill of tragedy is something I've always wanted to know about. I've been watching football since I was four years old and since then I've been supporting Liverpool. And every year I'd hear about the Hillsborough tragedy where 96 Liverpool fans lost their lives. That's all I knew about it before I started this project. What made me start this project is basically watching Liverpool's captain Steven Gerrard celebrate his goal against Man United dedicating it to the 96 people that died. His cousin, who was 10, was the youngest out of the 96. I saw the passion in the celebration and I really wanted to know more about it. These people left their loved ones at home when they travelled to Sheffield, excited about a football game. Little did they know that this was the last time they would see them. Not only did the police fail to deal with the crowd, but also covered up changing documents and blaming the Liverpool fans, which in my opinion is just totally wrong and quite sick. I find it quite shocking as the truth uncovered in my research. I always knew the Liverpool fans weren't at fault, and I wanted others to know that's the reason I made this video, and I feel really proud of myself that I have completed this project. Thanks for watching, and I hope justice for the 96 is done. I'll be